Amen. Amen. The first Sunday, Pastor Angie said, the depth of your praise will determine the magnitude of your breakthrough. How do you praise God? Media, I am so grateful for you. You change how I praise and worship. So praise and worship is things. There, you know, there are many things that you can define praise and worship. Worship is simply speaking about God, who he is, right? Giving praise to who he is. Now, when I talk about praise and worship now, I'm talking about singing and dancing. You can find me by myself singing and dancing. My husband can walk in, see me, and he do what you do. I'm continuing with what I'm doing. You will find me. Media team, last Sunday, Kimberly sang a song, You Reign Forever. And at midnight into my Monday, I wanted to Google that song. That song just dropped in my spirit, and I wanted to go to YouTube it. I wasn't going to YouTube Agape. It didn't even click that we have our own channel. But no, I was just going to YouTube. And I, I didn't even know the title of the song. Media, thank you. I was just going to put some lyric, and something was going to come up. But at 12 or 6 a.m., I got into YouTube, and right there is the song, you reign all by itself. And I said, uh, for me, I gave credit to the Holy Spirit. I was like, oh no, I, I knew this is a song that I wanted, but it came from Agape. And I got so excited. And I played that song over and over, like 30 minutes, I'm just singing the song. Praise Tim, you are appreciated more than you know. More than you know. How I praise the same way that I play Maverick City over and over, that's how I, that's how I do agape praise and worship Tim. You are that powerful. Yes, see, next to Reverend Chongo, I am your biggest fan. Next to him, where are you standing? I am there. If I could show you my screen, you will see every praise and worship moment that I truly enjoyed. I am like Minister Lisa that day, she sang this song and then she sang, I want them all. So when I put it on, that's just where I am. And for my four year old son, as long as his Uncle Susio laid praise, then we are going to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. That's how powerful you are. You should know that. And you're much appreciated. Thank you. So again, how do I praise and worship? I'm talking about singing. You don't have to sit, pray. Okay, sometimes you run out of words. But with singing, just sing the songs. Put it on and play. Sometimes sing your songs. I sing all the songs and I have my own versions. But I'm singing it by myself. So sometimes I can listen. I can listen to Maverick City. I can listen to Agape Praise. Sometimes I just want to sing and I'm going to sing it however I want. Back and forth, repeat, change, come back to the same song over and over. And I can do that for one hour. I can put on some praise dance and do that all by myself. That's how we should thank God every day. Do that. Not just here when we come on Sundays. On your own. Do it. It's an individual walk do it how grateful are you how do you show gratitude to god what is your offering what do you offer him on this christmas day he has given us the gift undescribable gift the bible says too wonderful we cannot explain it so how do you receive it how do you receive that gift how do you receive it every day when you arise for as long as you live you only live into your tomorrow when you enter how do you give god praise how do you praise him? Do it on your own every single day. Do it on your own. Hebrews 13, 15. Therefore by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. The fruit of our lips. We are doing it. On our own, we are giving him praise. That is the sacrifice. That is giving thanks to his name. Let us do that every day. Psalms 6930. I will praise the name of God 
with a song and we'll magnify him with thanksgiving. Simple as that. The word. How do you study the word? How do you read the word? Do you read the word? We are agape word. So if there's anything that is expected from us is that we should know the word because that is our name. So I went through January to December with our themes. And at first I was like, okay, every month is this theme. I mean, I'm like, we have this theme. So every month, okay, I'm going along. That's what it is. And then again, when I was thinking about this, I caught the revelation. I do a lot of um, studying plans. You know, thank God for the cell phones and technology and the apps and the Bible app in particular. So it has plenty of plans. Whatever you want to study, it's basically there. So I have done a lot of studying. Some of the things I'm very particular, it's the things that I really want to know about. Like the Holy Spirit is sometimes vague when we begin to talk about it. So I've done a lot of study on the Holy Spirit just because I'm interested. I want to know if I'm going to understand who God is. I have done a lot of a praying how to pray for healing how did jesus heal i've done a lot of that and then this dawned on me we are doing the same thing we are doing a study it's a plan every month we are given a plan if you pay attention to the speakers and reverend see this is really the first time that i really caught it Amen. it I was like, wow, that is the point. That is the purpose of every month. We have a theme. We are doing a study. Not only that, it increases how you study the word, but you actually know the word. So gratitude, for example, we have gone through so many scriptures. So when you are praying for gratitude and being thankful, you have all these words that you have learned because we took time to do that. That's how you study the word. Just like anything else, that is how you study the word. And I caught it and I love it. And 2023 for me will be better in how I take these themes. First Peter 2. 1 Peter 2, 2 to 3. As newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. If you want to grow, spiritually, if you want to grow, the best way to grow is not by praying. You will not know how to pray if you don't study the word. You will not know who God is if you don't study the word. You will not know how to encourage someone if you don't study the word. You will not do that. If you want to stay a baby, then don't read, don't study. And I'm saying read and study, right? You can read the Bible. You can study the Bible. Reading, again, the Bible app, it gives you a scripture. This is what I taught the teenagers, the youth class, the last time I taught them. I'm not asking you for too much. I'm not asking you to go randomly, ah, today, what am I going to read about? Now, you all have your Bibles, you all have your apps, click on it, and guess what? Verse of the day. And it keeps the counter for you. And I told them the next time I teach, Pastor Mona, ask them, just in fact, don't ask them. Just say, let me see your phone and your app and let's see your counter. Because it tells you how many times you've been in, in the Bible. And for me, that also encourages me. And when I do miss a day, ugh, it irks because I'm starting over. But I know not to miss a word. Because I have to do this every day. So read your word every day. There are no excuses. You have an app. The word is there. You don't have to go searching. That's how you read the word you want to study pick a topic pick a random thing something dawns on you like I have things that I'm just sitting I'm reading something random but something pops up and now I, I go there I want to know why what are we talking about so let's be such a people what are we talking about what are they talking about in the Bible that's what I want to be and you can never know too much because it's just it's too much the Bible is too much but I will say this and encourage this. The Bible is Genesis to Revelation. You have to read it from beginning to the end. Don't get what you want in the New Testament and stay there. No. You have to go to the beginning. It's all relative. As you read the Bible, you will know that it is all relative. Individually, 
Read the word. Desire the word by yourself, not together. That is how we thank God every day. Every day. Read the word. Every single day. And lastly, fasting.